Thank you so much for coming. I'm the one who was emailing you. My name's Eden. Oh yeah, Eden. Yeah, so I just wanted to thank you for coming. Oh, you really, good. I can tell everyone really ate that up and oh, like, just loved, I personally loved everything. Oh, good. Yeah. I didn't about. know what to say. I, like I said, I could have went on and I'm like, you know, so. No, it was great. Yeah, it was great. Fantastic. I got so much from that. Cause like, I've been really wondering about the process of kind of like paying my dues and that's mm -hmm. something that's kind of scared me. That, and, and I think if you go into it looking, yeah, and, and the way I would view it at least is saying, listen, if I am going into litigation, and, and probably that is the way to do litigation, if you're going to go into it, go into a firm that, that's what they do and they do it hardcore and say, you know, I'm going to learn it. I'm just viewing it as college, as law school. It isn't that I want to be a partner here or anything else. I just want to be immersed in it. I'm going to struggle through it just yeah. like I would, of course, I don't like, and, and maybe I can stick it out a year or two years, and then I'm going to, and then I can take my information and move on, okay, you know, okay. uh, because if you just do that and stay at one of the places forever, I knew lots and lots of people that were successful attorneys, and they couldn't wait for the weekend, and you'd say, mm -hmm. well, what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to get drunk. Yeah, huh. it's like... You know, and, and I think that's the only way they could live with themselves. I really do. And here they were successful. They could live in a big house, drive a nice car, do whatever the hell they want. And, and, and all they're really excited about is, you know, getting a bottle of whiskey for the weekend. Yeah. And it's like, that's kind of pathetic. Yeah. You know? So anyway, that's, that's my personal opinion at least. Yeah. So, anyway. Um, how important is it to be in the top 10% of like your law graduating class? Because I've had so many attorneys tell us like make top 10% or it's not happening. And, I just and if you're going to one of the, the big firms, that's probably true. But, but bear in mind, at least 90% somewhere. You know, it yeah, it does. Right. You know, and, 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 and how do I say it? In my opinion, this this is my opinion, and, and I'm sure the top 10% would disagree, and I'm top, sure the, the partners at a top law firm would disagree. But, but I have seen, I've went up against the top lawyers at the top firms. They are no better than some of the guys in Al Oklahoma or still are, or, you know, wherever. They've got, they've got the backing of the firm. They've got that reputation of the firm, and so they've got that going for them. And so it's kind of like, it's like being lucky that, hey, I was in the top 10%, so I get there. But that doesn't mean they're any smarter or any better or any more intelligent. It just means that they were in the top percent. But think of it this way. Again, that leaves 90% that you say, oh, what, what is 90% a bunch of losers? Hell, hell no, you know? Yeah. Uh, so I view it that way. And yeah, it, great if you can be in the top 10%, but only 10% can be in the top 10%, mm -hmm. you know? And, and I have people that try and try and try and try and try. Uh, law school's a different, a different animal. It, I don't think it is truly a measure. I do not. I would study with some people who, the night before a test, and I would never study with that one girl again, but, you know, and say, Dow, I don't understand this. And you'd explain it to them. And they clearly had no clue of what it was about. None. Zero. And they'd get the scores back, and they'd get an A, and you'd get a B. And you'd like, now, well, how the hell did this happen? Uh -huh. And you know, and, and you'd come out of it, and they'd say, oh, this and this. And they, it was clear. Now, I think some of them wrote very good. I wasn't a great writer. I wasn't. And I think that we could probably negated some of my grades. But, but in the end, you go, no, I know. And, and, and honestly, going back to that one girl that I just said, that was, you know, I helped her the night before. She didn't know it. She got a better grade than me. It took her six times to pass the bar exam. Now, you tell me, okay, we, how does that make, how's that a measure of intelligence, of, of wherewithal, whatever? Mm -hmm. So anyway, that's, that's my take on it. So, yeah, I wasn't in the top 10%, so... I would like to be in, and, and yes, it opens a lots of doors for you. You get invited, you know, uh, to be an intern at the at the nice law firms. You get you know get invited to their intern parties, and hey, they get to meet everyone, and that's great. That opens a lot of doors. But again, that's only ten percent, you know. And again, you're throwing everybody in from all across the nation here that have all been good performers and and, and good smart people, and all of a sudden, yeah, it's like the top ten percent of the smart people. What does that mean, that the, that the other 90 is stupid? Hell no, they're not stupid. You know, so. And they got into law school. Yeah. <laughs> Some of us took a little longer than others. <laughs> <laughs>
just so. when you're fed that information like constantly from like a bunch of people, you start like freaking out. You're like top ten. Yeah, that's the worst thing you can do is freaking out. It really is. You got to keep your head about you. I talked to a lawyer when I first got accepted and I told him I was going. And she'd been out of law school 20 years. Oh my God, he's horrible and this and that. I said, listen, you know, I went, I, I lost everything I owned, farming and ranching. I mean, everything. I'm like, it can't be that bad. Oh yes, it is. Oh yes, it is. I'm like, I was petrified by then. You know, it's like, how, what are they gonna eat you? You know, <laughs> I haven't I mean, really. And I got there, and and you know, I had, I, and again, I went into it thinking I shouldn't be here because I'd struggled trying with the LSAT. But, you know, after a while, it's like, okay, this isn't that big a deal. And it's, everyone's, tr they're feeding on, everyone's insecurity. And I think intentionally, you know. And, and so, like I said, the biggest thing, and I don't know what it would be, seriously, but go out and, and, and really challenge yourself emotionally. You know, whether it's, hey, I'm not a good public speaker, go out and make yourself be a public good speaker. Uh, or even if you don't uh, don't want to be a good one, just do it, you know, and say, listen, I did it. I wasn't good at it. I didn't like it, but I did it. Or, I don't know, you know, go protest on the street corner uh, one way or the other, you know, hold a sign and people throw eggs at you. I don't know or call you bad names. At least you're toughing your, your height up for it. I don't know, you know. So, anyway, that's whatever it's worth, so. That was another thing that really stuck out to me when you were saying to kind of put yourself outside of your comfort zone because that's something I've really been trying to do this year. Because mm -hmm. like last year I was in my freshman bubble and this year I'm kind of like putting myself out there a little more. So that was really also really encouraging to hear that we need to be trying to get outside of our comfort zone. You really do. You really do. I, 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 well, I'm, I tell my son I'm 37. <laughs> uh, that may not be quite right, but but I'm still trying to put myself out there, and, and it really it really it will help you a lot. And and you just I even sat down and come up with ways to put myself out there emotionally. Just say, you know, I'm going to do this. You know, I'm just going to do it. And and you know, if you get made fun of, you get made fun of, and I'm like, yeah, huh, big deal. Yeah. You know, exactly. So so anyway. Right. Okay. Thank you so much. Oh, you bet. You bet. Yeah.